it's Kristen and I'm at Town Hall and today we're going to be making some crafts for a virtual program that's called Let's Go to the Beach. So if you ordered a supply kit from us you should have um, everything that you need hopefully. Um, if you have permanent markers or hopefully maybe if you have um, some paint could be any colors that you want um, you're gonna probably want yellow or orange for sure because you're gonna be making a Sun um, and then other than that just a couple other colors that you like because you're gonna do um, a sailboat drawing or painting um, and like I said if you don't have paint you could use Sharpies um, because you should have a plastic container that we're gonna make just a beach scene jar is what I'm calling it okay um, we're also gonna be making a shark and then we're also going to be making um, a stingray so, um, I have no real method to how we're going to do this. I think we'll just go ahead and start with the stingray first. I hope that's okay. So, you guys should have a coffee filter. Um, I, it's already pre-cut to become the shape of a stingray. Um, so, what I want you to do first is fold it in half so it's even, okay? Now, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. If you happen to have um, watercolors, you could use that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use markers, and this is a coffee filter again. So, when you use a coffee filter, if you use markers, what you can do is kind of um, sprinkle some water on it, and what that does is it helps the marker bleed, meaning it'll spread, okay? Um, this, the reason why we're folding it in, in half is so that when we do get it wet, it will bleed through to the other side, so it'll kind of have like um, the same pattern on both sides of your stingray. Do you have to do it this way? Of course not. If you want to keep this open and color the whole thing, it's entirely up to you. Um, like I said, I am going to go ahead and fold it in half, use my markers, and then I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some water. Um, this does not have to be any particular pattern. You don't have to do certain shapes, um, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of just color it in, and I'm hoping I don't have to color the whole section because usually when I add a little bit of water, um, it will just kind of go ahead and Help it to spread and kind of bleed through, like I said, onto the other side. You can see that I'm coloring it with marker and it's kind of already coming through on its own, which is cool. I'm still gonna go ahead and have to add some water. Um, and I just picked, these are just random colors that I picked. I picked purple, blue. Um, actually, I thought I had a late blue, but I guess I didn't bring that. Shocking. Um, green and pink. Um, if you wanna use all the same color, that's up to you. Your craft guys you can do it however you want and like I said you don't have to color the whole thing you don't have to um, use the same colors that I'm using it's entirely up to you so I'm just coloring making some different shapes kind of just making it up as I go go along my markers are rolling all over the place so this is our first virtual video for the month of August. Um, I know it's kind of crazy. Some of you are finding out whether or not you're going to have to go back to school. Um, some of you are finding out that you're going to have to do schoolwork from home. Um, some of you don't even know yet and it's going to be like, surprise, here's what you're going to do. So I'm continuing with videos for different activities that you can do um, until we figure out what everyone's going to be doing for the school year. But because these are videos, you can play them back at any time. And so if you did not sign up to get a kit from us here at Town Hall, if you want to try this at home, things that you're going to need are going to be markers or watercolor if you have that. Um, you're going to need to have a little bit of water if you're using markers, a coffee filter, and basically, I just cut it into the shape of what it looks like a stingray. Um, is it perfect? No. Like, if you went to the zoo and held my um, cutout up to a stingray, it's probably not going to be perfect, but that's okay, right? And then, like I said, I folded mine in half to color it in. And then I'm going to use some water to sprinkle on here, which will just help the color to bleed through to the other side. And you can color as much as or as much or as little as you want. 
and like I said, you can have the whole thing completely filled in. You can just do a little, it's up to you. And then um, when I did the cutting, I kept a little strip that should be in your kit and we're gonna use that as the tail, okay? Did you hear that? I accidentally clanged my glass. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my water and I'm just gonna kinda put it on the colored spots. I'm just kinda flicking it with my hand or my fingers. Um, you don't wanna get it, I mean, the more wet it gets, the longer obviously it's gonna take to dry. So hopefully since you're doing this at home, it doesn't really matter how long it takes, but it kind of makes it look like tie-dye too. If you've ever done like a tie-dye project with t-shirts or anything like that, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I think I'm gonna put some color on what will be my tail. And like I said, you could do all one color. You don't have to pick the same colors that I did. This is just what I chose to use. bleeds through my whole little tail the same way and then I'm just gonna go ahead and set this aside so it can dry and then I'll go ahead and assemble it after a little bit here all right next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to the beach scene jar so you're gonna have a jar that has a lid okay and you should have some sand you should also have kind of like an ocean scene picture so first things first, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and take the picture and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and set it inside your container, just like so, okay? So that's gonna be kind of like the background. Next, what you wanna do is go ahead and take the sand and go ahead and dump it. Now, if you're watching this at home, you're gonna say, whoa, it's not the same color of sand I have. And that's fine, everybody probably got something different because we only have so much sand here. Um, hopefully, if I remember to pack up everything correctly, you should have some seashells that you can kind of just shove down into your sand to help with our beach scene. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. Well, actually, I'm not because I'm going to paint my sailboat on here. And just in case I need to put my hands in here to turn this around, I'm going to keep um, that off. Now, I'm doing my sailboat at the front uh, because my beach scene is at the back. You can honestly paint this boat anywhere that you want to. Um, if you really are like, Ugh, I hate boats, I don't wanna do that, you don't have to. I, of course, I'm gonna go ahead and do it so you can see what it's all about. So I chose just to do a red, well, I don't even know what you call it, the bottom of the boat. So like we'll call it the boat bottom. That's what we'll call it. Dory would probably laugh because I said bottom. You know who Dory is, right? Come on now, Dory is from um, Finding Nemo, right? And so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this on here. Now at home, if you did not get um, a kit or if you did not hear the, at the beginning of the video, what you can do is use Sharpies. I don't think regular markers will, will work very well on here. So Sharpies will probably work best for you. And honestly, I personally think acrylic paint would work better if you have that. But if you only have tempura, that's fine. And obviously uh, watercolor, probably not a good choice because what's gonna happen if you put the watercolor on here? I'm just gonna drip all the way down to the ground, right? So can you tell, that's like my boat bottom. Well, that's gonna have to dry, but um, next what I'm gonna do is go ahead and paint my sail for my sailboat. So I chose to use blue, because everybody loves blue, right? So the sail is usually kind of like a triangle shape. And notice I'm just making this up as I go. Can you hear I'm outside? Someone's puppy's getting picked up from the vet. I had to get some shots or something maybe. I thought I'd come outside because I said, oh geez, what if I make a mess? I thought at least I can make it outside. This paintbrush has an extra long hair on it. Driving me a little crazy. Darn it. This happens to me all the time, doesn't it? I should have checked my paintbrush before I brought it out here. Can you see it? Can you see that? 
extra long if I saw it. Oh, I can't tear it off of here. Oh, maybe I can. I'm stronger than I thought. Oh, gosh. No, look at that. Boys dress for mess. Be ready for anything. I just, of course, smeared my finger into the paint. So my sail is kind of like just a triangle shape, which if you've ever seen a sailboat, it's usually kind of what they look like. Do you have to do that? No. I don't really like to have very many rules when it comes to art, because it's your project. Now, because I smeared it, I'm gonna try to make it a little bit uh, less yucky looking, if I can. Not perfect but definitely better than it was okay then I'm gonna go ahead and besides make a mess on the table here I'm gonna go ahead and paint a Sun and again it doesn't matter where you put that on here I guess I'll do it over here so if you have yellow or orange those would be good choices right for a Sun you could use both and I'm gonna do a little bit of sun rays coming off of it too. You can make it as big, as small as you want. And it's kind of hard where the lid's going to go, but I think I'll put some little windows on my boat here in case they have a sleepover so they can look out at the ocean at night I'm using yellow because I'll pretend they've got lights on in there. What do you think? Um, when this dries a little, you can even put Oh, it's kind of dry enough now. There, can you see that? Perfect. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on now. It's because I'm brave. There we go, here's our little beach scene. So we've got a sailboat, we've got the sun, we've got some sand in the bottom, some seashells, and then our ocean beach scene piece of paper that we put into the back. So that's just kind of a fun little activity that we did. So our beach jar scene, okay? So let's check out and see how the stingray is looking. Not too bad, not too bad. So I'm gonna open it up. And if you look, can you see the shape? Hopefully you can. And I'm gonna go ahead and it's still kind of wet, so I should probably let it dry a little bit longer. But you can use um, glue or if you have like clear tape, you know, tape that you would use like if you're wrapping a present for me. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, and you're gonna go ahead and glue it down to the bottom. Like I said, mine's still a little bit wet. I should really be waiting, but I want you to be able to see what it looks like assembled. I'll try to hold it up here, like so. Perfect. So there's our stingray. And the last part of our um, pro projects that we're gonna be doing today is making a shark. Um, so you should have all of the supplies that you need, you're gonna have a piece of blue paper, okay? I gave you, now I already did mine, but you should have some multiple different shades of blue to make waves. So that's something that you're gonna to have to do on your own. You can cut them however you want. Um, you can use just one color, it's entirely up to you, but this would be to make your waves. Then you're going to have um, a gray piece, which will be the body of your shark. You're probably gonna to need to get some scissors to cut that out. You're going to have a white piece, which will be the underbelly of the shark. Um, you're gonna have a mouth with teeth and where did mine go? Okay, so huh, if you can look at the bottom of my plate, my googly eyes got stuck to the bottom of the plate. Uh, you probably don't have that problem at home. I did, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel those off real quick so that they are ready. Okay, so I skipped ahead and of course I already cut out all of my stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to assemble it which I'm sure you can figure out, but we're gonna do it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and glue down my shark body. Now notice, I think you can already figure it out that it is not a full body. So basically this is going to look as though the shark is jumping out of the waves to come and say hi, right? All right, so you're gonna to wanna to use glue. Hopefully you have that. If you don't have that, what could you use instead? Tape. Um, you could use squeeze glue. Hot glue gun is probably a little too much because it's pretty strong. Um, if you have a glue stick, that would be awesome. But notice what I did. 
Okay, I glued the gray body onto the blue water. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the white underbelly and it pretty much just fits just like so. Can you tell? It's kind of hard to see maybe. And so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that section down next. Again, glue stick will probably be the easiest, less mess, but if you don't have one, go ahead and use some squeeze glue, some tape. I guess use stickers if you don't have anything. You probably have stickers somewhere. I kind of think um, where I'm sitting it might be starting to rain. I'm not really sure. Okay, so then you have the teeth or the mouth of the shark. That goes next. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down there. Now, if you don't want to use the teeth that I gave you, um, you can draw your own teeth on. That would be fun to do. If you only want your shark to have one tooth or if you want your shark to have no teeth, that's fine. But if you'd like to use the teeth that I provided, you want to go ahead and glue those on next. Look at this, it's really coming together. All right, googly eyes are next. Uh, unstick yours from your plate if you need to, like I did. And put the eyes wherever you want. I'm gonna kind of put them off. I don't know if they'll be straight, but off to the side. See that? And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue my waves. So it looks like he's jumping out at us, right? So I have to glue that down. Everything out here is so bumpy. Okay, look at this. I, I am, it's starting to rain on me. I've got little water droplets everywhere. Okay, so here's our cool shark, look at that. Jumping out of the ocean waves, coming for us. Then we did the coffee filter stingray, okay? That might take a little bit of time to dry. And then I know that my sailboat's still wet, but then we have our beach jar scene, okay? Easy peasy lemon squeezy, I hope you had fun. Thanks so much for watching. Next up next week will be two art venture videos on Monday and Wednesday with another virtual video next Friday. So if you would like to have some kits, make sure that mom or dad call us at Town Hall to sign up. I know a lot of you are already registered, which is so awesome. So I miss seeing everyone. I hope everyone is having a great first Friday of August. I hope you had fun making things that you would see or find maybe at the beach and come join us next week. All right, thanks for watching. Send pictures if you have some. Thanks for participating. I'll see you guys later. Bye.